This is Mission Control Houston. The uh, SpaceX team, as well as the team here in Houston, reporting that telemetry is showing that the strobe light has been commanded on by the crew. So once again, the crew has uh, successfully sent a command to Dragon to turn on its strobe light. This tests things for uh, tomorrow's activities to make sure that the crew can command the spacecraft from on board the station. And the team is confirming that that is the Dragon spacecraft there in the view. As the team here in Houston continues to coordinate and talk with their counterparts in Hawthorne, California at the SpaceX headquarters, they have uh, updated a couple of our times. Dragon will cross directly underneath the station in exactly five minutes. The DHA burn, as it is called, which is another one of these height adjustment burns, that will be conducted in a little more than 37 minutes, and that will technically end today's flyby. Live view there of uh, the SpaceX flight control room in Hawthorne, California. That team there continuing to monitor Dragon as it uh, flies in the neighborhood of the space station. Here's some animation that our group here in Houston put together of what it will look like from on board the station. You can see Dragon performing this HA3 burn, the height adjustment burn, that uh, will uh, bring it in toward the International Space Station. It will then perform a series of uh, retreat and hold demonstration maneuvers, backing away from the station, restarting its approach, and then finally holding at a certain position. This will be a series of ground commands sent from SpaceX as well as the uh, hold and retreat commands sent by the space station crew. This will prove that Dragon can perform an abort if necessary. Once that takes place, Dragon will be clear to move on up to uh, about 30 meters away from the station, which it will hold there as well for a period of time. At that point, the uh, teams will perform another go, no-go, for Dragon to continue to move up toward the station to a point about uh, 10 meters away, about 30 feet away. That puts it close enough for the station's arm to reach out and grab onto it. This is the actual flight path that Dragon will take. This was extrapolated out from uh, data that Mission Control Houston had, but this is what the crew will be seeing from inside the cupola as they reach out with the station's arm arm will be controlled by Don Pettit. He will be inside the cupola there at uh, the robotics workstation that is located there in that portion of the station. And with the help of Andre Kuypers, he will reach out and grapple on to Dragon. And uh, once everything gets verified and everything is secured, Dragon will be steered back around. Once again, Don Pettit uh, doing this, and the crew will then move Dragon around and prepare to install it on the uh, bottom side or the earth-facing side of the Harmony node. This is the same spot at which the Japanese HTV spacecraft was berthed.